Hello, I'm Matt Green, head of school here at Falmouth Academy, and I want you to know we're very excited to be welcoming all of our students back in just a few weeks. As you know, we've been working hard all summer readying both our program and our facility to have you back here at school. We're excited to introduce to you this morning several of the new safety features that will be in place so that we can have a healthy reopening. I think you know that school's going to look and feel a little bit different this year, but don't worry, we're here to support and help you through the transition. What I really want to communicate to you is that we're still the same Falmouth Academy that we've been for the last 40 plus years. We're about community, we're about learning, we're about friendship, and we're about readying our students so that they will leave Falmouth Academy fully prepared to confidently engage the challenges of our times. We've prepared this short video to show you some of the safety features that will be in place and to demonstrate to you that the health and safety of our students is paramount. Welcome and welcome back to Falmouth Academy. Hi, I'm Sarah Knowles, the Associate Director of Admission, and we have created this video for the Falmouth Academy community to go over our new protocols so that we may have a healthy and productive school year. So we're going to ask that students arrive between 7.45 and 8.15, and they will enter through their class designated entrance. Our seventh and eighth graders will enter through our main entrance. Ninth and 10th graders will enter outside the classroom of room 105, and our 11th and 12th graders will enter into the coach's entrance located by the gym. The designated faculty member will check you in and ensure that your parent and guardian has filled out the appropriate health screening app. They will also check to make sure that you have the appropriate mask to wear inside the building, and they will also remind you to sanitize your hands. Upon entering the building, you will notice that we have new directional arrows located on the floor, and then we ask all community members to follow these while moving about through the building. For example, here on the second floor, you will see this area is designated one way. However, here in the Simon Center with the wider hallways, we have direction in both ways. For any questions about the directional flow, please refer to your map that you'll be given on the first day of school. In the case that a student does not feel well, they should go to Mrs. Ritterford, who will direct them to one of two designated health areas. For more information on illness-related procedures, please refer to the additional videos provided by the school. Our classrooms for the fall have been reconfigured to allow for individual desks located six feet apart. Upon entering and exiting the classroom, students will wipe down their desk and use the hand sanitizer located at the front of the classroom. We've equipped each classroom at Falmouth Academy to support students who elect to learn from home or here in person in the classroom. FA lessons will be brought to life in numerous ways this year. Uh, we have a document camera to support in-class instruction and to ensure that students at home can also follow along in the text. We have some high-def microphones that will pick up voices in the back of the classrooms. And lastly, we have uh, a speaker that will clearly project voices coming through Zoom out to our classmates here at school. One of the biggest improvements we've made to the school facility this year are the updated classroom unit ventilators. They continually bring fresh air into the classrooms throughout the day. Our locker area this fall will not be in use and students will be required to bring their belongings with them to every class. A list of the required items for students to bring can be found on the school website. Weather permitting, students will be able to go outside for mass breaks and lunch, like here in Hucker Yard or other areas on campus. These are just a few of our many health and safety protocols that we'll be implementing this fall. More information about our many other changes here at Falmouth Academy can be found on our school website. Even with all these changes, we are still the same Falmouth Academy, and we can't wait to see you in a few weeks.